Hello guys, welcome back to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today's video is for all the aspiring UI UX designers out there who are looking to build their very first design portfolio. Whether you are just starting out or looking to polish what you already have, this guide is for you. We'll go over what a UI UX portfolio actually is, what to include, how to create one even if you don't have experience, the best formats to use, common mistakes to avoid, and of course, some awesome platforms where you can showcase your work. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before that, if you're interested in a career in UI UX, join an immersive UI UX certification program and become an expert in just five months. The course offers live online classes led by renowned faculty from IIT Bangalore, get hands-on with capstone projects, craft your portfolio on Dribble, and receive personalized coaching on top designer tools. Enroll now and unlock endless possibilities in the realm of UI UX design. The course link is provided in the description and pin comments. So without further ado, let's get started. So what exactly is a portfolio in the context of UI UX design? A portfolio is essentially your showcase. It's your opportunity to display the breadth and depth of your skills and creativity to potential clients or employers. Unlike many other professions, where your resume does most of the talking, in UI UX design, your portfolio is the main thing that will make or break your chances of landing that job or project. It's a visual resume, but with storytelling. Through your portfolio, you demonstrate your problem-solving abilities, design process, and how you approach real-world challenges. Think of it as a narrative. You're not just showing pretty screens. You're showing how you arrived at a solution, what the problem was, and how your design impacts the user experience. So in short, a great UI UX portfolio not only highlights your skills, but also communicates your thought process and the value you bring to the table. Now that we know what a portfolio is, let's talk about what should go in it. So the content of your portfolio should be carefully curated to highlight your best works and demonstrate versatility. So here's a checklist of key elements. Number one, case studies. Now, these are the heart of your portfolio. You need at least three to five solid case studies. Each should tell the full story from problem to solution, starting with the research phase, wireframing, prototyping, and final visual designs. Next comes process documentation. So don't just show the end product. People want to see how you got in there. So include sketches, wireframes, iterations, and feedback loops. So explain your thought process and design decisions along the way. Now comes user research. Show that you understand the users you're designing for. Include personas, user flows, journey maps, and insights you gather during the research phase. Next comes visual design. The aesthetic part of your work should reflect your UI skills. Highlight your use of typography, color schemes, and UI elements like buttons, icons, etc. And then prototyping and testing. Include any user testing you did, along with the results and how you implemented changes based on feedback. And then about section. So don't forget to introduce yourself. This section should explain your background, what got you into design, your approach to UI UX, and what kind of projects you enjoy. Ultimately, you want to showcase your ability to solve real-world problems through design while also showing your creativity. Now, I hear this question all the time, like how do I make a portfolio if I don't have any experience? So here you have the good news. It's completely possible to build an impressive portfolio even if you're starting from scratch. So next, here are a few strategies to help them. Number one is personal projects. So you can create your own hypothetical projects. It could be redesigning an existing app or website, solving a problem you have noticed in your daily life, or even creating a product from scratch based on a concept. So these projects still showcase your abilities. Next comes volunteer work or freelancing. So you can offer your skills to non-profits, small businesses, or startups that may not have a big budget for design. So it's a win-win situation, like you get experience and they get much needed help. Next comes design challenges. So you can participate in UI UX design challenges on platforms like Behance or Dribble. You can also find daily or weekly challenges that push you to design under different constraints. So these can go straight into your portfolio. Next are case studies from mock projects. So even if the project isn't real, you can still approach it like a real-world case study. So outline the problem, research, 
and demonstrate your design process and final solution. So remember, the key is to show your thinking process and problem solving skills, not necessarily who you have worked for. Alright, so once you have gathered your projects, the next question is, how do I organize them? So there are a few golden rules for formatting. Alright, so once you have gathered your projects, the next question is, how do I organize them? So there are a few golden rules for formatting. Number one, keep it simple and clean. Don't overwhelm visitors with too many visuals or texts. The focus should be on your work. Use a minimal design so your projects stand out. Next comes storytelling. Structure each case study like a story. Introduce the project, the problem, your role, your process and finally the solution. So provide enough context so that someone with no background in design can understand your thinking. Number three is responsive design. Make sure your portfolio looks good on both desktop and mobile. You're a UI UX designer, so this is a must. It shows you understand the importance of good user experience. Number four comes interactive prototypes. So if possible, include interactive prototypes. So tools like Figma or InVision allow you to embed live prototypes that can be clicked through, giving a more immersive experience for the viewer. And then comes ease of navigation. So organize your content so that it's easy to find. Use categories like UI design, UX case studies, or mobile projects if you have multiple skill sets. So now let's quickly talk about some common mistakes to avoid. Number one, too much focus on visuals. So remember, UX is just as important as UI. So don't make your portfolio all about flashy interfaces. Show that you understand the user experience side as well. Then comes not explaining your process. Now, employers don't just want to see the final result. They want to know how you got there. So beautiful design without context might not be enough. Number three is overloading with projects. So quality is over quantity. It's better to have three strong projects with deep insights than 10 surface level ones. Then comes ignoring feedback and iterations. So design is a collaborative process. Show that you can take feedback and refine your work. Do not skip this part. Then finally comes unpolished visual design. So if you're applying for UI UX roles, your portfolio itself needs to have a great visual design. So make sure it's polished, easy to navigate and a pleasure to use. So finally, having known all this, let's talk about where to build and host your portfolio. Luckily, there are some fantastic platforms that make this process super easy. So number one is Behance, perfect for UI UX designers. So Behance is a popular platform that allows you to create beautiful project presentations, interact with the design community and showcase your work to potential employers. Next is Dribbble, known for its creative community. Dribbble is ideal if you want to showcase short snapshots of your work, particularly UI design. It's more visual, but still a good place to start. Next is WordPress or Webflow. So if you want a custom website, WordPress with a design theme or Webflow can give you full control. Webflow in particular is a favorite among designers because it combines web design and development tools, making it easier to build beautiful responsive portfolios. Next comes Adobe Portfolio. If you're already an Adobe Creative Cloud subscriber, you can use Adobe Portfolio to build a website easily. It's simple but integrates well with other tools. And finally, we have Carbon Made. It's a user-friendly platform designed specifically for portfolios. It has beautiful templates and is great if you're looking for an easy setup with little to no coding involved. So you can pick a platform that best fits your needs and make sure it's easy to update over time. So now that you got a clear idea on how to create a portfolio, let's see a portfolio from Behance. So this is a well-made portfolio. So as you can see, first they have mentioned the objective, scope and design approach followed by a detailed client profile. After which they have given a detailed timeline explaining the process they went through which includes planning, research, wireframe and visual design and the tools they have used for the same. After which they have portrayed the color palette and the text styles used. Then they have given the dashboard wireframe and then the login page the UI design and different pages in the website, thus making it a complete and well-made portfolio. So before you start with making your portfolio, make sure you refer to many other portfolios to get more ideas. And that was it. Those are the tips on how to create a stunning UI UX design portfolio, even if you don't have a ton of experience. So remember your portfolio is a living document. Keep it updated, refine it and let it grow as you grow as a designer. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.